Ansel Ali here, Kelly Village TV. Uh, we're in um, Kuva Heliport, that's um, Camden. Today is the last drags for the year, uh, presented to you by via Titasa. Right, we're here with Wazir, uh, aka Boost Factory. Uh, tell us a, a little bit about your car. My car is a uh, 9 seconds car. And me, I'm much to say about my car. What type of engine? 2 JZ. What mods? Just turbo injectors and Haltec. Stock internals? No, piston and rods. Alright, alright. <laughs> um, who's, who's, your, who's your competition today? I run in anybody. Ultimately, who usually gives you competition on the track? Well, the only the thing is Aaron and Fassi Flambo come out. That is most of the two impressive car that we will run it. And, you know. Okay, so this car capable of beating Flambo? We we'll try. It has all the pot potential to do that. Alright, we have um, Brandon from Nuva Serra. That's on the avenue. It's a new place. Very slamming. Good, very, 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 very good lime spot. Uh, he's down here at Camden today, which is kind of surprising. On a Sunday, he usually sleeps late. Yeah. How do you like it so far? Nah, no, it's, it's good so far, man. Everything, nice races and everything. The only thing killing it is this rain, boy. But I like that. It's not nice. It's not nice. Which, which, which car is your favorite car for today? So far. This beast right here. This, this super here. Yeah. And and when you when you plan to come out on the drag industry? Uh, let me say next year August, December. Any special vehicle in mind? Yeah, but that's it. Good. <laughs> here with um, Ian Atali, long at drags with his lovely. Kawa, ZX14. Um, Ian, how things today? Well, apart from the weather, I'm having a few mechanical problems, but um, I think by the end of the day, we would get to the problem, and you know, we'll be running. Uh, what, what, what kind of times you you do with the bike? Normally, um, ten point two three four. Okay, that's um, stock with nitrous or what? Oh, that was stock. Since we have included in nitrous, we are going above that. <laughs> and those are the things we're trying to rectify right now. Wow. Okay, okay. So, um, judging by the um, little snow and so on, you're young at heart? I have always um, loved speed. You know, um, from, from the time I was born, I loved speed. And uh, this, this relaxes me tremendously. And um, I think I'm... Um, very comfortable with the people around me that um, make up the fraternity. You know, and we have great camaraderie. I mean, guys from all different camps are right here around us, and it's, it's nice. It's nice and relaxing. Right. So, you're just like myself. Uh, when you sit behind the wheel and uh, you go fast, you know, yeah, you're just totally relaxed and at peace of mind. Yes, yeah, certainly. You know that adrenaline rush. I missed it for a few years. You know looking at my professional life but then i'm back again and i'm very more much more comfortable with it
right, we're here with uh, Peter Lackies, uh, Mazda second generation iX7, uh, Toyota 20B with some mad mods. Uh, this car has proven itself together with the owner time and time again to be the fastest here. Peter, what mods have you done to the car? Well, first we'd like to thank God for being here. Um, 20B Toyota engine is a street port. We have a two-speed power glide transmission in the car. A little nitrous in the car to spool the converter. Some M&W coils. The car is set up properly. We have a, one of the best tuners in the world from Texas, Steve Kahn. Did a tremendous job. Very, very good tuner. Um, we have a lot of people to thank. Dale Chowty, Sean Reddy, all my friends, Vaughn, Pamper, all those guys, Mr. Ali, everybody who put in a hand in the car to have it possible to be here today. But the car works well. We had one run about two weeks ago, only had one run and the car did a 10.00. So we're looking to do a single digit today if the weather hold up. Uh, what can kind of horsepower you're putting out? We're looking at about right now a little over 700. At the, at the wheels, but the car is a little over 900 because the transmission takes away about 16% horsepower from the engine. But we are, we are at about 7 something. 7 something at the wheels? Yeah, on 22 pounds of boost with a 70 shot and I trust. Wow. Alright, um, one last question. Um, oh, what, what, what have you done in, in terms of the braking system? I mean, the, the second gen ergonomically has a smaller um, braking system well, as opposed to what the 20B came in? Well, I, I have bigger calipers on the car and better brakes boosters and all that. So we, we have brakes, we have properly good setup as a brake system in the car. I just want to say um, say hello to my son, Aaron, and my newborn baby at home too as well. We're here with Naren of Zos at uh, Camden drags. Naren, how, how is the racing so far? Well, so far, I mean, the, we had the weather kind of threatening to rain all day. We've seen clouds all around. We passed through some rain coming through um, Shagonas. I heard in South like Gasparilla area, rain was falling too. So I think that may have deterred some of the crowd. But as you could see, we actually still have a pretty good turnout here today. Um, the bikes were running earlier. That was pretty exciting. You know, we saw some fast, fast machinery coming out. A lot of stretch frame bikes. And now the cars are back out again. We just saw some of the big guns, Aaron Dorridge. We just saw... Um, Lambo, Peter Lackeys, you know, put announced some pretty fast times, eight and nine second passes, which on this track is, you know, approaching the limit of probably how fast you could go safely, you know. Um, but these guys have been constantly improving their machinery as the as the season went along this year, and we're looking forward to some faster times again next year. You know. Titasa lives on, and Titasa will do what it has to do, regardless of who may have their adverse comments to make. We will make our effort to continue on. We are going to show the people of Trinidad and Tobago that the NACAM rally is going to come to Trinidad in November of 2013. Trinidad is going to be one of the hosts for the NACAM rally championship in Trinidad in 2013. We are going to spearhead the NACAM team for drag racing together with Brazil. So we are making strides for motorsport for all types of motorsport, not only one sport. Everybody who races is one of our children, so we will help them all. We have Janelle here. Hi. The only female drag racer on a bike. Tell us, tell us, how are you doing today? Very good. Staying constant in 13 seconds. Um, looking to go 12.9, hoping to go 12.9, but Going good enough, steady in 13. What type of bike? Yamaha 600, FZR. Old school, but whooping plenty of those new school tail right now. Carbureted? Carbureted. No fuel injection happening. And who's the mechanic? Victor Alvarado. Best bike man in TNT. Sorry to say it. <laughs> isn't um, isn't his, his brother the late Malcolm? Yes, he is. That's my father. Rest in peace. Yes, yes, we all do miss him. He's a very good friend of mine as well. Too. So, what kind of times you're doing? 13 seconds. Steady in 13 seconds. Hoping to go 12.9, but steady in 13 seconds. Any um, interesting shot in nitrous? Um, no, 
not this year because this is actually my first year so I am um, taking all the practice and knowledge and schooling from my uncle and uh, maybe next year we'll have some surprises in store. Um, aren't you one of the um, organizers uh, as well too for drags here? Yes, I try to assist the TASA's management wherever possible, whatever means necessary because we just need drag racing to continue. Donald Camden with the famous horsey. Anybody who knows anything about speed the entertainer. and motorcycling will know this individual, if not by face, by name. Horsey, how is the um? How is it? How's the drag so far this morning? Well, a lot of rain. We waiting for it to cool down to see some good runs and so forth. You racing today? No, not racing. Just looking on. Taking it easy, and you not race it. I'm on a silent boycott because I find all these racers here, all of them are entertainers, all of them are fans. Everybody's looking out for the Subaru, there's look out for the Mini, there's look out for the bikes. Everybody had their own little choice in bikes, and the racers not getting recognized and respect, you know. And they're putting out a lot and they're not getting back any in return. So I just make it my silent boycott. All right, all right. Um, the bike you race is a Suzuki. Yeah, Suzuki GSXR 1300. We did, yeah, Hayabusa. We did 8.8 8 seconds in St. Lucia. And wow. we're looking to do better. So we just had the bike there covered on, waiting. All right. Um, it, that time is with nitrous or without nitrous? With nitrous, of course. All right. Well, I know you're usually a quick guy on two wheels, so I wouldn't be surprised if it was without NOS. Now he's doing. It. It's the main thing is to entertain the fans. But that would just pay the money to come to see. Entertain. AKA Madman Mike. <laughs> Turbo Mike. Yeah, Turbo Mouth. <laughs> this is your niece? What? All the way? <laughs> How good is she? How, uh, 13 going to 10. With the 10. Going to 10. <laughs> with, with Nas? You know, no, raw power. It's in the blood. It's in the blood. <laughs> See? Like father, like uncle, like daughter. You know? The family too. Shout out for all those who. Um, who, uh, who only husband and wife team. Probably in the Caribbean too. Where is your husband? That's your husband. What do you think of, um, or what are your views for that matter, of your wife beating you on the drag strip? I, never I don't know about that. that. <laughs> well, you have that on record. I don't know about that. Um, that's what Victor just said there. Those are, those are rumors. <laughs> rumors. Come on, that's what you're trying to do. You sure? Yeah, sure. What bike you ride? Uh, Suzuki. 600. <laughs> Oh, it's a 600 TC thing. Yeah. Clearly, Suzuki is the better bike than the Yamaha. Well, that's debatable. <laughs> but you ride. Debatable. You would you would say that because she's yeah, riding a Yamaha, to get me right? Trouble, yeah, you're so to get you can. <laughs> I personally love love Suzuki. You're trying to stick yeah. some shit. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the Yamaha is the better bike. No, I wouldn't say it's the better bike, but it's a good bike. Both, both of them are good bikes. Politics! Politics! <laughs> We're here with um, Flambo, Mr. Hollister Edwards. Uh, we just saw you did a uh, eight-second run. Mm -hmm. How was it? Very good. And I'm making sure I'm going back to see if I could break the record what I tell you about. Because I don't break my time already for the morning. From 8, um, 8.97, I was down to 8.71 now. So I'm trying to see if I could beat by before this evening, see if I could do our 860 or 850. How was the how, how was the track conditions? Well, it is it, it, pretty, it, 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 it's so bad because right now we could do a little prepping as we keep on running. We could do a little more prepping or, you know, if they rub it out with some tires and things. But next time we'll try and see what we could do. All right, all right. Um, tell us a little bit about the car and the engine and so on. Well, it's a 1969 chassis. Is a alter they really call it, which is a funny car chassis. Um, it fitted with a, a big block, which is a 510 motor, power glide transmission, a Dina rain, 
and two big bottles and I just push it down with 800 horsepower. Wow. We're here with Alan and his Ford Capri. Tell us a little bit about your car and what, what, what have you done to it some, since? Well, this is a 383 stroker with a street fighter, three speed transmission, stall converter, no nitrous, naturally aspirated. And that's basically it, keeping it stuck. What, what, what kind of times you have done with the car thus far? Well, our first run we did um, 12 3, and since that we haven't really gotten over to, to doing a, any other runs from that time since. So we're back out here to try and better that time. Hopefully we'll go down to the 11s. Here with um, the Mad Cow team, uh, he will explain why it's called Mad Cow. Uh, they have a snowmobile on track tires. Sting, what kind of times you do with this snowmobile? Well, we we looking to achieve a 10 second today. We made one pass with it on low, and um, we did 11.7. We expect if the rain dry up the track a little bit, we should go into 10 seconds bracket. That is with nitrous or without? We just made a pass without nitrous. We're going to try the nitrous now. This is turbocharged? No, it's not turbocharged and it's doing a small amount of horsepower, which is shocking, 62 horsepower. <laughs> so this engine is a three-cylinder, two-cylinder, non-turbo? It's a three-cylinder, 1,000 maxi. Two-cylinder, 1,000 maxi engine. It's a 1,000 cc engine. Yeah. Very good, very good. Uh, this is... um. Mad Cow Jr. Yeah. <laughs> so, tell us a little bit about the Mad Cow. Um, that storyline so long about that way, but um, as we have it today, we we run in the 10 second bucket with it today, looking to do some consecutive 10 second passes, and um, that's about it. Who's driving, you or your dad? No, my father. The original Mad Cow. <laughs> but um, it I is. Mean, I can be doing it tuning only because I'm. Um, well, it is believed that um, you are a better driver than your father. <laughs> nah, no, I gotta say so, man. That one is, is believed. Uh, well, all right, if, if this is well. Care to um, prove that? Then I'll tell you, next year. Uh, we're here with Sean, um, aka Kingston Performance. Uh, supposedly, uh, as far as the tour goes, uh, fastest shop in Paget. Uh, your thoughts for today? Um, if the weather permit us, we could probably do some good numbers. But so far, it's looking like looking like it's not really gonna dry up in time. But you know what? We hope for the best. I hope it was the track. We we came prepared today to do some good numbers today. What 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 kind of times you are looking at? Um, we have three cars. We expecting to see ten seconds. And well, the rest of them will be basically 12 and 11. Okay, okay. Um, this Mazda 3rd Gen RX-7, um, what, what, what mods you ordered to it? Um, it was built, the engine was built by Sean Reddy. 
and it was tuned by Sean Reddy. We put we put together the after you finish building the engine, we put the, we put it together and we do the electrical. Um, it has a GT. I said our GT uh, 40, 42, a, a 60 millimeter wastegate Haltech EK. EK is E6K, and we tune it out at 500 horsepower with half gas. So one of our expectations is this car will do a good time today. Ansel Ali, SMTT here, Kelly Village. Uh, we're, we're now closing off uh, Camden Drag Scuba. Uh, catch, catch us on, on Facebook or YouTube next year. Peace out.